What up, big time gang? Welcome back to another video. This one here is another uh, piece I got off a collector. From one collector to another, I love doing that. As you know, if you watch my channel, that's one of my things is trading and buying from other collectors. That's a way to get something that's sold out somewhere where you cannot find it anywhere else. Um, we have a great family of, you know, the Invicta family is, a, is awesome. And I'm able to pick up great pieces from great people and, and also build relationships and, you know, make friends. So, uh, this is one of those pieces. If you're interested in seeing it by the thumbnail, you probably know what it is, but stay tuned anyway. All right, fam. So I'm not going to make you wait. He sent it in uh, a yellow Invicta dive box, single slot. This is from Myron Mitchell. Bam. Another Bolt Zeus Magnum. This one here is one that I've wanted for a minute. So uh, I've been on a Magnum kick. If you don't know, now you know. But uh, uh, Muhammad Kamash. A very uh, respected collector in the Invicta world and uh, Facebook world especially. And um, I had showed him my uh, Magnum collection. I believe I was up to like five or six pieces. And he was like, you need a meteorite dial. You need a, 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 a SW500 and you need a, a tourbillon. Well, Muhammad, I got all three. This one is not any of those. But this is one that I really, really wanted. So I'm into the stealth look. I like black watches. I like silver silver and black or, you know, high polish um, stainless steel and black. I like that look. I love gold. I love rose gold. I like all the colors, really. I don't do purple and pink dials. But uh, besides that, I mean, I pretty much like them all. But I have my thing. My main thing is gunmetal watches and stainless steel and black by 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 far. The two favorite combos, uh, favorite dial, mother of pearl, or this type of dial, which is a uh, gunmetal, or you can call it charcoal gray. Um, just a really, really good look. How can you go wrong with that charcoal gray dial, black high polish on the bezel, crown and pushers, and then you've got the high polish case and bracelet. I mean, come on, man. Got the black on the uh, locking clasp. But uh, come on, you can't go wrong with this color combo. It's killer. So uh, a few times I've had this uh, set up where I was about to get it. And for whatever reason, it fell through. Um, I saw Myron post it and uh, I jumped on it. I was like, hey, um, I want that watch. Let's make a deal. I did what I had to do and hustled and sold a watch to buy this watch. And here it is today. Great condition. He said it was in great condition and it is. It's practically brand new. I can't see any major gouges, scratches, anything on it. Just a great looking watch. Great, great looking. So let's get into a couple of the, the, the specs on this thing. 52 millimeter case, 20 millimeter stick, uh, model number, 25204. See if you can see that there. Invicta Reserve Bolt Zeus Magnum. All stainless steel, which is 316L. Uh, Flame Fusion Crystal. Reserve Collection. Swiss Movement Chronograph. Chronograph movement is a Quartz Ronda 5040D, which to Invicta collectors is a great movement. Um, for me, it doesn't have the day of the week, and it's kind of like, ah. But uh, it's a good movement, reliable movement. Um, high polish case size, high polish on the on the top. But then you've got the cutouts that are dull, like a brushed, almost like an unfinished satin type look. And I love that contrast. It just really makes it pop. I mean, it just, I love the Magnums. I've always wanted one, and now I think I've got like 11 or 12. But I always wanted one. I got one, and then uh, it just blossomed from there quickly. So now here we are today with all these bad boys. But uh, 
I'm going to do a Magnum, a Bolt Zeus Magnum review on my whole collection. Once I know that I'm done getting more, which I'm assuming this one will be the last one. There's not really any color combos I want besides the all red dial with the black case. Or if they came out with like a charcoal gray and rose gold or something, I'd have to get it. But um, just wanted to give you a quick, you know, review on this one. I need to size it. So I think I'll size it at the end of the video. So if you're interested in seeing that after the music and the pictures, I'll do a sizing at the very end of the video and I'll break it down for you in slow steps as far as um, um, how to follow the arrows and all that good stuff. So if you're interested in seeing that, stay till the end. But coming up now is going to be uh, music and photos. And uh, missed this piece. I haven't worn it in a long time. This is a Grand Octane. 63 millimeter bad boy coalition forces got that turquoise accents all gunmetal dial and case and bracelet killer piece had to show you guys this one because it's on my wrist so anyway uh if you're gonna stay tuned for the uh photos and the music please do big shout out to myron mitchell have a great day god bless sizing at the end don't forget If you're shopping for a watch, make sure to check out Georgia Mountain Watches. Link will be in the description. All right, so I got the tools out. Time to start sizing. Um, I already measured it to my wrist, and that's very important for you that uh, have never sized a watch before. Just put it to your wrist and uh, check out um, what size your wrist is and how many links you're going to take out. You know, you, you're not going to be precise, you know, but you can tell whether it might be one, two, three. Um, I looked at this and I think it's two. Um, I'm gonna take out two and we'll go from there. Right now I, I'm paying attention to this. The micro adjustment is all the way on the outer adjustment. So if I take out too many, I cannot adjust any wider. But if I don't take out enough, I can always adjust in. Very important. So I don't know if I can explain this any better, but see how it's pivoting on that furthest to the end of the clasp. That means it's as far out as it can go. So as far as micro adjustment, you can't make it any looser for the micro adjustment. Now you still have four more holes to make it tighter. So if I size this too loose, I can go in to make the watch tighter instead of taking out another link. That's very important on uh, sizing your own watch. 
because uh, you know not everybody is a perfect size link when they adjust it and uh, you can take that one extra out to really make it fit you the way you want it to or to you know adjust that micro adjustment so I almost started without explaining it arrows you see those arrows pointing down that's the way you hit the pin this is a cotter pin or a rolled pin type bracelet and you have to follow the arrows one side of the pin is wider than the other and if you hit it the wrong way you won't be able to get it out so you have to hit it the way of the arrows and you have to put it back in opposite the arrows which is very important as well so a couple love taps is all it takes I always hit up both pins at the same time you remove the pins see them there remove them now you have one loose link link is out I just join the bracelet right back together now the arrow is on this side pointing that way so I'm going to put the pin in wide and last you see how it's wider on the left and the right so I'm gonna put this side in first going against the arrow once I have it in there far enough you see once it's in there far enough it's barely sticking out and I give it a few love taps with the past the camera you don't want to use a steel side because you'll mar and scratch your uh, bracelet so always use a plastic side once I have it in for far enough almost said fur once I have it in far enough I give it a little love tap with the pin punch tool now this pin punch tool I got off of Amazon I do not have a link because I know that's the next question you're about to ask um, just hit in watch pin punch tools and whatever they have available at this time will come up now we're gonna do the same thing again on the other side follow the arrows two pins out pull them out remove That's a scratched up link. I'm going to remove that link. So I'm going to put these pins back in. And I am going to remove that one. I just noticed how scratched up that is. And I don't like imperfections in my watch. That's one risk you do take when buying and trading um, from a, another collector is they're worn. These are worn watches. And you take the chance of getting something a little damaged or and uh, that's why you ask for detailed pictures you ask for a photo of the watch um, at all angles a video of them saying your name and showing you the condition of the watch all that stuff is very important to make sure that you're getting what you expect to be getting nobody wants to get bamboozled and get a uh, a watch that isn't what they were expecting. Okay. So now I took that damage link out and you can see this is like the only link that looks like that. Look at that. It's got a road rash all over it. So we took that one out. Put the pin back in. Now I have three pins to tighten because I had removed two pins already and then I found that damaged link. So all three of these are going to get hit by the hammer, pushed in, and then we're going to get the pin punch tool and push them in just a little deeper. Okay. Now let's try it on, see how she fits, should fit like a glove, I don't think I went overboard, taking out two should be correct, yep, it slides over my hand, it should fit.
and it's a little loose. So micro adjustment time. <clears throat> so now I'm just gonna take it in one micro adjustment because I like my watch loose. Um, to me, I can't wear them tight. It bothers me throughout the day if they're too tight. So I'm using my pin punch tool. I'm gonna push that pin in right there. Push it in and slide it over just a tad. Now you want to make sure that you get it to lock into the next slot, the next hole. And I went two, which we'll see if that works. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. There we go. And I hope you can hear those clicks. And now we'll check it out again. Beautiful. So there she is. Bad boy. I really love this watch. So if you'd like to see um, more on this, I'll probably do a second review. This is more of, you know, giving Myron Mitchell his shout out and uh, just showing you what I got and sizing it for you guys. But uh, I'll definitely do another review and test the loom out and stuff like that. So anyways, have a great day, and as always, God bless. <laughs> if you're still here, one last thing I forgot to do is put the links back in the bag, which I always stress is very important. So I've got it labeled 25204 Magnum. So I'm going to put the two links together. Opposite the arrows. Arrows are pointing up right now. You see that? So I'm going to put the wide side of the pin Pointing down, right there, bingo. The other one in, bingo. And then drop it in the bag and we're good to go. There it is. Simple as that, keep yourself organized.